ousted Team 10 member Cole Kerrigan has finally uploaded his long-awaited response video telling us his version of why he left Jake Paul's Team 10. Hey everyone, my name's Deb. If you haven't already seen my previous video talking about Jake Paul kicking Cole from Team 10, make sure to check it out. I'll put a card right here and a link in the bio and in the end screen. Just a reminder that my video was made before this story was covered on Drama Alert, and at the time I did not have all of the details. I've been wanting to make a follow-up, but I waited to hear Cole's side of the story so I could include that. Now we have it, so let's go. As always, Please feel free to leave me a comment on what you guys think of this situation and don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for more tea. In my last video, I was super shady to pretty much everybody I mentioned, but you guys, that's just my sarcastic sense of humor and some of you guys got it and some didn't and that's okay. But this video is going to be much more straightforward. I just want to get the story out and hear what y'all have to say. So now a quick backstory. Cole Kerrigan is an openly gay makeup artist who was invited to join Team 10 2.0. He's originally from Texas, but moved to LA to join Team 10. He had a lot of drama right before the James Charles situation blew up when he, and this does sound very childish, but he got mad at some dude named Cameron Dallas for throwing water on him at a Team 10 party. Like, dude, it's Team 10, what do you expect? A lot of people saw that move as an attention grab, and it backfired on Cole. People began looking into his background and saw that he had made racist vines when he was about 11, and I do talk about those in my previous video. He also was called out for a series of tweets in which he bragged about sleeping with and outing the father of some kid who was bullying him. I believe he made these tweets when he was in high school. There also was a video made about this story, but it was removed from his channel before he joined Team 10. So a lot of people have not seen this video, but I have. That's because I began following Cole a while ago when he had around 62,000 followers on Instagram. I had actually found him on YouTube through an also deleted video, which was actually an apartment tour of his old apartment in Dallas. I looked at a few videos on his channel and he looked familiar and then I realized that I had seen his face on Jeffree Star's Instagram and that he was a makeup kid. At one point he even had his profile picture uh, as him and Jeffree, which means that he's either a super fan or it was a clout grab or maybe he just really liked the picture, I don't know. Anyway, I followed Cole for a while and then I unfollowed him in February of this year when he made a tweet that I did not care for. And I've never spilled the tea about why I unfollowed Cole. So if you want more tea about that, then please let me know in the comments. Before I go any farther, I do want to say that despite his reputation as a diva and despite any past behavior, Cole is a fantastic makeup artist with a great personality and I do see why Jeffrey has taken him on as a protege. I think he's got a side of him and I'll call it the quote, outing the kid's dad side, the being a diva and going all Hollywood on us side that holds him back. And so I was pleased with this most recent video. He seemed sincere and he spoke about how he got carried away with the Hollywood lifestyle. The apology video he made following the Cameron Dallas drama, I didn't buy that one at all. And I think he's quite lucky that all of that got swept under the rug because the James Charles scandal exploded the very next day. But here to me, he comes off very sincere. So what happened? Well, first of all, it took Cole forever to make this video. And here I am waiting to make my follow-up, waiting to make my follow-up. Wait, every day I'm getting comments about how I missed this and how I, made, how I missed that. And I am fully convinced that he was never going to make the video because I thought that he had an NDA with Team 10 and he wouldn't be allowed to make it. But then again, he did have a lot going on with moving. However, me personally, I would have just jumped in my car and recorded it just to kind of get it out of the way. So either he just waited until he had the perfect situation because he is in a new apartment now, or he waited until he had permission from Team 10 to make the video. In the video, he says that he is stating facts and he does spill some major tea. Now, speaking of facts, I am only here stating my opinion and reporting on what Cole says happened. And I welcome you to leave your opinion in the comments section at any time. First of all, Cole says that he still respects and loves Jake and that what happened was wrong on both parts. So I do like that he is owning up that he is partially to blame. And I do believe at one time that he and Jake had each other blocked because the tags that you're seeing here were not showing up on their posts, but they're back. So they're not blocked, but they're also not following each other. Cole admits he is overdramatic and he says that Team 10 uses his dramatic personality to create drama for views and content. Well, God, nobody ever did that on YouTube before. That may 
very well be true, and that may be part of why he was cast in the role of being in Team 10. Cole says that Team 10 said that they were there for him to help him create successful content, but that they gave him more criticism than guidance. Hello, welcome to my childhood. Okay, haha, that was my little joke. My family doesn't watch YouTube. But now here's something that really does head home. He says he was promised a really nice studio for filming, but that it was not there for him when he arrived, and it took three months just to get his lighting. Now, I can definitely feel that because I once had a job where I was promised a lot. I moved a thousand miles for this job, and when I got there on the first day, nothing was as promised. In fact, I didn't even have a desk or a place to put my purse. So I definitely get that feeling of showing up and feeling well. I'm going to say, like, in my situation, I felt bamboozled. Being a creator myself, I also get that you definitely need to have the right environment to get into your creative groove and grind. And if Cole was not feeling welcomed, appreciated, or nourished and didn't have the tools that he needed, then that definitely could have stunted him as an artist. In a podcast with his brother Logan, Jake Paul said that Cole was not creating content because he was, quote, lazy. I do see where Cole might have gotten sidetracked with the Hollywood life, the partying and all of that, especially if they were having constant parties like right in the house where he lived so I can see a sort of a mixture of having the lack of studio and um, just too much craziness going on uh, getting in the way of his being productive on the other hand it was the team 10 house that he moved into so I'm not sure what he was expecting and I'm not super familiar with the content and productivity of former and current team 10 members but I do know that Jake Paul puts out a lot of content However, as a boss and leader, Jake should realize that not everyone on his team is going to have the same work style as him. So that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Should Cole have just buckled down and gotten to work or should Jake have been um, a little bit more supportive of Cole and a little bit more appreciative of his artistic side, especially given the fact that Cole was brought in as a makeup artist? The major tea and beef came when Cole talked about this guy Armani, who is also in Team 10. We went over hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes yesterday. Somebody won this Rolex, this Gucci bag, and over twenty thousand dollars in prizes you see behind me. Today we're doing it again. We're giving away Supreme bags, Nintendo Switches, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. I've got a ton, a ton of stuff. We're talking about Xbox, Xbox, PlayStation, PlayStation. Another eighty-five inch TV, I know Max, and don't forget, there's fifty thousand dollars in cash on the line. All you have to do is win. Head over to the team's official account, follow everyone in their following, and drop a comment telling us why you think you should win tag to your friends. We'll see you today for more prizes and giveaways. Now, when I made my previous video, I was already familiar with Armani because I had seen him in another YouTuber's videos last summer, and frankly. I just did not care for the guy. And as a matter of fact, in the comments of my first video, I had numerous comments telling me to Google Armani Izadi. Here's one article that I found. According to the Daily Beast, Armani is a convicted pimp. He's also been convicted of attempted battery and was ordered to pay his victim $30,000 in a related civil suit. There have also been some really unsavory allegations and charges on this guy about how he treats women, but to be fair, all of those charges were dropped, but he did plead guilty to the pandering, that's the pimp charge, and he did serve time in prison. Jake even talks about this in one of the Team 10 Uncut videos. He thinks Armani was unfairly prosecuted and that it's unfair that he went to jail. So it seems like Armani and Cole did not get along. In his video, Cole tells a story about an argument that he and Armani had at Armani's home in Vegas when the team was on a group trip there for Tana's birthday. The argument centered around Cole not having been able to go out because he was 20, not yet 21. When everybody came home, Cole had a conversation with Tana, who had wanted him to go out and had stuck up for him. Armani was the one who did not want to let Cole go out with him. But if Cole was underage and Armani, I mean, maybe he's still on probation, I can't fault him for that call. Anyway, at the house, Armani overheard the conversation and got into it with Cole. And what's funny is that Cole, in telling about this, insists that he was not drunk that night because he was still hungover from the night before. So he admits to underage drinking while sounding very self-righteous about being sober on the night. And I don't know, that just made me laugh and it does kind of give us insight into how Cole thinks. But it also makes me more in favor of believing him because if he were concocting a story, he would have put together a story where he sounded perfect and never did anything wrong. Cole says the argument with Armani escalated and Cole says that he was calm and that Armani kicked him off the Vegas property in the middle of the night. And Cole plays a voice receipt and he does sound calm and Armani does tell him to get off the property. Cole says that Armani was swearing at him and calls him the F word, but that is not heard in the voice receipt. So according to Cole, that's the incident that led to his being kicked out of Team 10. 
He says he wasn't even allowed to pack his belongings, that they were left in garbage bags outside the Team 10 garage. Now, do I believe every word Cole has said? No. For example, he says that Jake made an entire video about his leaving when really he only talked about it in the podcast with Logan for five or 10 minutes. But ultimately, I do believe Cole. I think this is a good life lesson for him. And I think we can certainly all agree that Team 10 was not a good fit for him. Jake says in text to Cole that Cole shows us in his video that he's done everything for him. And I think one thing Cole could benefit from is seeing things from another person's perspective, namely Jake. Team 10 is Jake's baby. It's his brand that he built. He's already gone through having the entire original team leave him. And even though I'm not a fan of his and I don't watch his content outside of what I need to watch to make my videos, I also don't hate the guy. And I would like to see him surrounded with good people who can work in his environment. And personally, that's not me. I would have gone sprinting long ago right out of that house, just like I did with that awful job back in the day. Cole, meanwhile, has done his own sprinting and has gotten himself his own apartment in LA. So hopefully now that he's in a more comfortable, controlled environment, he'll be able to get into a creative groove and um, overall be in a happier situation. Anyway, that's all the tea on that. What do you guys think? Uh, Do you agree with Cole? Do you see Jake's point of view? Do you think I'm right? Let me know in the comments. Just please do be respectful. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up or even a thumbs down and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And please subscribe for more content. My name is Code Deb and that's the name of this channel. Thank you.